you'll need a wood burning instrument. And today I'm using two different tips. I'll be using this uh, long now tip that's used for stencils. And I also have one that uh, looks like an X-Acto knife tip. These are very hot, so please handle them with extreme caution and care. They usually come with a little, um, they usually come with a little stand so that you're not laying it flat. Even though this will resist heat, I don't want to have this on the tip on the surface of it because it could eventually overheat uh, if it's concentrated like that. You'll also need tracing paper and you'll need uh, some type of substance to act as the stencil, which I showed you already the little credit card, um, gift card plastics that come. <clears throat> Those are ideal size if you want to make artist trading cards. You can also get these um, plastic, get the plastic dividers for the notebook. The one thing I like about these is they're really, really thin and work well when you're transferring the um, paint from the surface to the paper. Also, the uh, cutting mats. You get two in here. Very flexible, durable. They're a really large size. Uh, they wipe off really and What I'm going to do is I have these. I've broken this one. This one is broken. And I don't really want to make another one. These are really good, like I said, for the artist trading cards. The perfect size for that. So I am going to make uh, another stencil. But I want it um, on a larger piece of um, material. These are good to carry with you. Pocket. You're sitting somewhere waiting. Um, you can uh, whip those out and create some art. So, if the item that you're using, such as this one, or the item that you're going to make is symmetric, fold the paper in half and sketch out the one half, flip it over, and trace it. That way, when you open it up, it's symmetrical. Doesn't matter which side of this that you decide to use as the front. Okay, having a problem with my camera today, so I apologize if there are any skipped segments. I've transferred both of these onto my plastic work area, which um, now leaves me space down here where I can make a larger size. I was going to use two different tips, but I decided I'll just use the one and I'll be able to demonstrate um, why you want to use a metal ruler because it's heat resistant. Line it up on the bottom piece because that's the straight edge and I do want it to remain straight. That way I don't have to change the tip. The rest will be freehand. Just a couple of passes on this one because this plastic is quite thick. One thing you can do is make a couple of passes on this side and flip it over. Now this one went all the way through, this one did not. I will just line this up again and then it will pass right through. The heat is doing the work. Be careful, do not inhale the um, smoke from the melting plastic. Then you just slowly, with a steady hand, if not, don't worry about it. It's not like the stencil is all I'm going to do. I'm going to build layers. I 
using the stencil. So if the edges are jagged, it won't matter. But I do want them as neat as possible. Again, turn the piece so that you are comfortable you are comfortable um, maneuvering around. Sorry, I tend to hold my breath. You can also use this piece as a stamp. That's what I use the um, the ones, the credit card ones are much thicker than this. This is sort of, uh, it's really flexible. The um, When I use the gift card, credit card ones, you're able to use them as a stamp, paint on them and stamp them in different directions along the surface. It doesn't take long to do these because this wood burning tool gets really, really hot. Okay, once again. The camera's acting up, so I finished cutting out this piece. And what you can do, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, it's when you cut it, when you well, when you burn it through, it's not perfectly round, but you can take this edge and lightly take the tool and go around the inside. It'll smooth that edge, and you can also make corrections as to the roundness of that piece. It made it much rounder than what it was when I first cut it. You may not be able to see that. It's just slight. You can flip it over and look at it, but it will smooth the edge and then you can round it out some. But use a very light touch, very, very light touch uh, when smoothing those edges and rounding them out. And it's ready. It's just easier to handle because it's a larger piece. These pieces are kind of flimsy, so I don't really have a use for them right this now. This is a stencil I did using the exacto tip. There's quite a few cuts here and there. It makes really nice, it makes the edges, um, the lines straight, but you have a tendency because it's hot, it melts into areas that you don't want. I find that using the metal ruler works really well for the straight edges. This is another one. 